Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to find fractions and today it's called unit fractions and that's really simple it just means find one of a fraction now when we started off fractions we were doing really well we could do fractions of shapes and we could do fractions even on number lines and then bad Mr. Patton asked you to do fractions of amounts and most of us went, I can't do it. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can't do it yet. How do we get better at things? We practice them. So this is how you can practice finding unit fractions. And just for today, I'm going to tell you how you can find unit fractions of amounts. So let's read the question. One quarter of 16. Now I agree, it would be a lot easier if it said one fourth of 16. But even if you forget that a fourth is actually a quarter, it doesn't matter. Because what we're looking at is the denominator. And the denominator is the number at the bottom of the fraction. Now this tells us what to divide the amount by. So this question is asked in another way, is 16 divided by 4? And there's a few different ways we can do this. And some of the easiest ways is to actually share 16 between four. So imagine you had 16 sweets shared between four people. And what we're doing is dividing. So I'm going to draw four circles. And each circle stands for one person, or if we want to call it one quarter or one fourth. And I'm going to count from 1 to 16, and each time I count, I'm going to add a sweet, well, it's going to be a dot today, into each circle. And at the end, I'm going to check if I have the same number of sweets in each circle. So that means that each person has the same number of sweets. This is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to count from 1 to 16, and each time I count, I'm going to give each person a sweet. 1, 2, 3, Four. And I go back to the start. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So now each person has the same number of sweets, and that is four, add four, add four. Add 4. And 4, add 4, add 4, add 4, equals 16. There is the same number in each circle, so we've shared equally. If there was 5 in one circle and 3 in another, we, hadn't, we wouldn't have shared equally, so it wouldn't have been fair. Because remember, a fraction all has to be the same size. Some fractions are bigger than others, but they are all the same size. So if you have a half a pizza, both halves are the same size. If you have a quarter of a chocolate bar, each quarter is the same size. doesn't matter how big the chocolate bar is or how big or small the pizza is, one half is always the same as the other half, and one quarter is the same as the three other quarters. So 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So if we are saying that 16 divided by 4 is the same as saying same as finding 1 quarter, 1 quarter of 16 equals 4. So where are our quarters? Well, here is 1 quarter, here is another quarter, here is another quarter, and here is another quarter. So altogether we have 4 quarters, or 4 fourths if you want to say, or one whole. And in each quarter, there are 16 sweets. So let's go back. One quarter of 16, we look at this number. This is the number that we divide by. What are we dividing? We divide 16 by 4. Now, if you're good at your tables, and you should be practicing them, you can count in fours. And each time you count in four, raise one of your fingers. So you start with a closed fist. So let's count in fours up to 16 and then count our fingers. Four, eight, 
12, 16. Now I've reached 16, I can stop. And I count my fingers and I've got one, two, three, four fingers raised. So that is how we find a unit fraction, which is one of a fraction of an amount. Right. My top tip if you are practicing this is if you want to find quarters, you have to choose numbers in the four times table at first. If you choose numbers that are not in the four times table, you are going to get, get end up with remainders. So if you have a four times table in front of you, practice finding one quarter and see if you can do it first like I've shown you and then see if you can do it with your fingers. And my wish is that everybody would be able to find a quarter of a number in the four times tables by counting in their head or on their fingers. But if you do it the way I've shown you, that's fine as well, because really I want everybody to be able to find one quarter. So remember this number here, and I'm just going to make it slightly bigger. That's the number that we divide by. And that's no different from any other fraction. It can be a fifth. We divide by five. A half we divide by 2, a tenth we divide by 10, and so on. OK, I'll then show you how to find more than one unit fraction, so we can find things like 3 quarters. And if you can do this part really easily, that's no problem at all. But this is the bit we have to do every single time. So if we can't do this bit right, it's going to be tricky. OK, everyone, I've spoken for long enough. You go and practice it yourselves. Well done. Bye-bye.